and welcome back to another episode of Scousers in a Van. This is episode 10 so far and we are tackling the overhead lockers. So come along this week while we show you what not to do while converting a van. I've peeled the whole thing off the sander. With even more Savage Cowboy Builder stuff. We haven't got a working table, so we're doing it on uh, the council bin. Things turn out a little bit wonky. See the way it's a little bit wonky, people. But in the end, we got there and we were so happy with the result. So yeah, join us. So in the words of Mick, like, subscribe, and press the bell. And do all that shabby. Yes, people. This is the overhead lock pack. What we have in mind. Now we bought this off Amazon. They do sell them in IKEA, but we got this one for fifteen pounds in IKEA. I think it was thirty. So we bought one for now just to test it. Because if it didn't, if it didn't work, we could just obviously put it over there in the in the flat or whatever. But yeah, let's check it out, y'all. And if it works, we're gonna get another two or three. <laughs> So this is a hack. You literally put it up that way. See, cause it is a standing shelf. We're gonna do it like that. And it is looking good, to be fair. What we'll do is we'll get a piece of wood underneath it, you know, to support it a bit more. And um, and yeah, hopefully it works. And then we can just, we can either put baskets in them, or we can get like one big door, or two little ones, or just one there, and put a plant or something in there, or a basket, you know what I mean? So yeah, let's see how it goes, yo. This was not a hack. Yes, people. So what we're going to be doing with these overhead lockers, I don't think them cube things are going to work. They're a bit too big. But okay, I've been trying to get my head around this one. But one of our friends, Craig, nice one, Craig, bro, if you're watching, he's had this idea. Get a piece of this, 2B5, B3, whatever it is, yeah. Just go from here, straight over. Here, screw it in the metal, yeah both sides and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a frame and then we're gonna the frame will go about here drop down and then we we'll get the plywood or M mdf is it whatever we're gonna use and it'll just sit on this and this will be all nice and tight and that's how we're gonna do these overhead lockers on this side this side's just the same as there but without the um obviously the beam and stuff so yeah let's check this out y'all Yes, people, sorry we're indoors now, just doing this. So this is what we're doing for the overhead locker. Just going to do a frame like this here, and obviously there's one here. I've just run out of wood, so that's why I'm upstairs. I'm going to go and get some more now, but it'll be a frame like that, and then the plywood will go underneath it, and it'll sit where I've put that piece of wood by the window. But you'll just see in a minute. This thing here as well, right? I've been stressing about the bulkhead, like what to do. If you look at our other videos, it's just all the uh, fluffy stuff everywhere. But I made Craig once again. Nice one, Craig, yo. He said, just get a piece of this, like, out of the back of a wardrobe. I don't even know what it's called. And, um, yeah, just cut it down, push it in, screw it up. And then we're just going to do this, make a frame here. Dead easy piece of timber going across here. And then one, two, one, two. Here's our door. And we'll just cover all, all this up and all that up. As easy as that, yo. Okay, so this is what we've done here. We made like a little um, a U, if you want to call it that. And we're just going to bolt these onto the metal, both sides. Bolt them all with self-tapping. And we're going to screw all this up here. And then it'll all be nice and tight. And then it's getting clad. And thanks, Craig, bro, you know this. And here you have it, people. Absolutely solid. See where I've uh, drilled them in here at the bottom. See all the black screws. Same over here, self-tapper. Look at that, solid. And that's done, it just needs cladding. Easy. Okay, people, this is dark. Kennedy's on the wine as normal. Right, okay, so this is what we've made. I've just made a frame, and I've just cut this out now for the overhead locker. The IKEA thing didn't work. It probably would in other vans, but not ours. And this is absolutely wonky to death, but it's going. It's as fabulous as my wine. Yes, it's as fabulous as Ken's wine. But it's going on, the... let's just, I'll show you. So basically, people, here's the piece of wood. This is gonna 
lean on there. Slip in. <clears throat> We're gonna um, screw it into the metal here, and we're gonna screw it into the metal here. We have got a piece of wood here, so it screws in. And then what we're gonna do is obviously get it all level, yeah. And then I'm gonna have to make, like when it's all, I'm gonna have to make like a frame. So what screws straight up? Basically, the ceiling is not even, so we've just gotta get some extra wood here so we can get it even. And screw it all up, and fix it all in. It's Nick's not... famous word, flush. Get a flush. Yeah. Get a I've only flush. found out this word, and I've heard it a thousand times since this fan build but yeah i think it looks suave what you reckon i mean the, like for example yeah if he was going to do it here see it'll go on a lot easier yeah see and i think this is what we're doing anyway but a thinner shelf no this people yes people so we've just put this shelf in now they're only temporary we've obviously got to paint them and that but we're gonna get some brackets one more bracket and a piece of wood's gonna go along there as well to support it it'll be screwed into the metal down there as well at the back here and just here and yeah that's where we're up to with the shelves literally just painting them in and then obviously filling them in. I'm go we're gonna have slides and doors on them. So yeah, easy as that. Yo. Okay, people, so we're ready to sand it. And I've never used a sander in my life. And the guy in the shop says, you need to peel this off. And then you pour, let me just get the... So we said you peel them off and then you stick that on, but he was just lying to me, look. He literally, it sticks it on, it's Velcro. But look what I've done. I've peeled the whole thing off the sander. It's just, I can't believe how gullible I am. So yeah, I'm gonna use no nails to stick it back on. And we only need to do a little bit of sanding, so hopefully that works, people. But yeah, if anyone doesn't know, it's a mouse Bosch sander. Um, the sheets just stick straight on. God, I'm dumb. Yes, heaps. So we've painted the shelves. We obviously we haven't showed you painting them, but you know, they're painted. We think they're good. See, they're not straight at the back. Not really bothered. I'm just going to cork the back here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get these on now. be putting this off which is pine strip wood six mil 21 mil whatever literally what we're doing is we're putting it on, up on here on the top and we're putting this stuff in and it's just going to sit in there for the sliding doors so hopefully that'll work for us so we've had a little accident um see i've snapped this bit off by putting these in these aren't working so i'm using these little screws and here's kennedy back from the toilet <laughs> I went to the toilet in the local. She went to the toilet in the local and boot up, you know this. So we're just making the dividers, if you call it them. And look at this, perfect fit. This one who's never bloody. Oh, shit. This one who's never done uh, anything like this. Look, it's not bad, is it? You got some L brackets on it, put it together, and then uh, get it painted. This one's already done. I've used that stuff there. As you can see, it's over there getting sewed. And uh, just gonna do the next one now. Easy as that, yo. But let me just show you how I'm doing this. So basically, I'm putting it up, got a piece of wood on the ceiling, and then I'm getting me pencil, and I'm literally just going like this, following the pencil, and it gives me the same pattern, whatever you want to call it. And I've done with the dividers in there, if you call them dividers. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same here, peeps. I'm absolutely buzzing, you know. Got the wood in there, just need a little trim over there. Oh yeah, we there right there. Something like this, bit thicker than that though. And then yeah, jobs are good, jobs are good. Yeah. 
Yes, people, so these are basically all done. Me, uh, me sliding doors, what I made. Myself. Figured it all out myself. Didn't watch no YouTubes or nothing. This one's a little bit stiff, but I'm not really too bothered about that. Um, I'm going to get, like, little handles. This YouTube will be up before then. Basically, this is what we bought, yeah? And all honesty, I don't even know what it's called. I will put the link in the description now, yeah? So we bought this, right? And we got... Let me just see. Right? See these? I will put the description for this wood as well. I don't even know what it is, but we got this to sit on the overhead lockers, right? And then we just put this, this beading on it. And we done it at the top as well. And the sliding doors are simply this stuff. And I just cut it down. It's not even cut perfect. It's just cut so they slide. And then I'm going to put these in now. And it is literally as simple as that. As simple as that, yo. And there you have it, people. These are making Kennedy's overhead lockers. They're not bad, are they? Do you know what I mean? We'll put like a little stopper here as well. See the wood? We'll paint that. Everything's not perfectly straight and that, but you know, we're not too bothered. Over this side, so we're a little bit cracked. The stopper here is literally the end. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just obviously a little bit of beading just to cover a few bits. Inside, obviously needs a, a paint again. The back needs a paint. We're going to get it slim up here. And um, obviously, these lights are going underneath yeah it'll all be uh, it'll all be nice painted white and stuff but yeah that's it a little hat for overhead lockers very easy so i hope you have liked this episode and if you liked it like subscribe and press the bell and do all that shabby <laughs>
there you go. Obviously, it'll have the seat on, it'll have a hinge. Just lifts up just like so. <laughs> Fantastic. Just gonna do one over here now. Let's get it done, yo. There you have it, peeps. Two box seats, just need to drill that in. And I need to obviously put the lids on top and then just paint them, and that's it. Shelves, box seats done. Now, last thing, we move on to the kitchen. We'll show you how to put the mattress up. The mattress just goes on, but we've got to cut it. But we'll show you that when we're doing the kitchen, yeah? So yeah, thanks for watching. So what we're doing here is we're putting the easy ano hinges. I think they go this way. Just gonna cut it down, put them on, and obviously it'll it'll open like so and close. Done them, put them a little bit forward so there's a gap. So we're just gonna put these on now and then literally we're just painting it and they're done. It's gotta put cushions on them. as easy as that, yo. We simply just attach the piano hinges and all good. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. There you have it, peeps. Getting painted, and it'll have a cushion on the back and a cushion here. Now, look, it is a bit, you know, not flush, but considering I used a saw and a jigsaw, that is not bad at all, is it? Pat on the back for me. So, what I'm going to do now is see the way how there's vents in our fridge. I'm going to cut like a big letterbox in the back now, and that'll be the airflow. It'll, that, that'll do it for airflow going in, airflow going out. Good job we've got good mates us. My mates just uh, told me then, Craig, and I know he's watching. He just told me, um, need to put a big letterbox in it. I didn't even think of that. Oh shit, we did it the fan. Yeah. 